Do you own thousands of notes and want an easy and fast way to find your notes? Stay tuned as we go over three pro tips of Evernote search and two bonus features. Hi, my name is Julian and today joining me is Johanna. We're both on the customer success team. So Johanna, can you tell us what's so cool about Evernote search? Sure thing, Julian. All right, so we are going to go over three pro tips on searching in Evernote. First one is how to search for anything in Evernote. Second one, how to use filter to narrow down your search result. And then uh, last but not least, the advanced search syntax. We also have some bonus for you to make searching even more efficiently with safe search and shortcuts at the end. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so let's get started. So up here in the corner, we have our search bar. You can click in it or you can use the command control E shortcut to open it um, and then just start typing your search term. So I'm gonna search for search. All right, as you can see here, I'm finding the note that I just showed you. And every time I have the word search, it's highlighted in the text, which is awesome. Um, but the true magic really, oh, see, even my invisible text is highlighted. Isn't that great? Um, but what is even cooler is that Evernote basically makes all my content searchable. And so as you can see, I have a scanned and handwritten note. I'm pretty old school. I always have like my handwritten notebook here. I can easily scan that in with my mobile app and boom, these handwritten notes are searchable and it takes me like, I don't know, 30 seconds to scan them in. No, probably 10. So that is really cool. Um, but Evernote doesn't only just make um, these things searchable, it makes essentially any type of file that you can save in Evernote searchable. So um, other keyboard shortcut to mention here, Command F will open an in, uh, in note search, which is also really um, important. And let me search for birds here. So as you can see, I have a really cool picture of a cat here sleeping on a book called Birds of America. I thought that was funny, but even in, the, in a photograph, the term um, birds is highlighted. So that's really, really cool. Um, and same thing with PDFs. Um, I have the triple overload PDF here. I search for triple and Evernote will return all notes that contain the keyword triple anywhere in the note, right? Whether that be in the text or in the PDF. Oh, wow. um, Yes, That's cool. so it is right. It makes it so valuable because I can search all I have one stop knowledge up for all my stuff and then quickly find it. OK, so this was the first part on searching for anything. So now let's talk about narrowing down your search results. Because that's an important second piece here. So again, I'm going to type in my keyword. Let's just search for Evernote this time. And as you can see, I'm finding close to 800 notes. Um, not very valuable, right? I need a quick way to filter it down. And we have help here with the filter feature. Um, so once I open that, I have many different ways of how to filter down um, different um, things. So for example, I can search only by the location. I'm gonna search only in my um, training space. And you can see in my training space, I have 110 notes. So I'm already filtering, filtering it down. This here is my favorite, favorite feature because I can easily filter down by the files or content of a note. So let's say I only want to find notes that contain the word Evernote in my training space and with PDF files. Um, and they have many different um, things to file, like to um, no, limit this down. down, right? Yeah. And I can combine these different ones here. Like I can also add the create a date and what have you. So I have many different ways of filtering can you also filter this by the person that created it? Yeah. So let me circle back to our, okay, taking out the filters. Let's circle back here to the search bar. So as soon as I click in it or open it with my keyboard shortcut, I have some suggestions here. These are my recent um, search keywords. I have saved searches, which we will talk about later. Um, and have some suggestions of recent things that I opened just real quick. But I can also enter the name of a coworker. So let's enter here Matthew and you can see I have three different um, Matthews I can choose from that are part of our Evernote business account. I can uh, quickly click here and then I can find all these nodes that Matthew created so like 34 nodes. Um, and then of course I can add other filters if I would like to. 
That's useful. That's very useful. I, mm -hmm. I know that very often um, Matthew tells me, hey, I created this node and I just can't find it. So this would be very helpful to narrow down the things that he created himself. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so this was kind of the two basic features about search, but we know a lot of you are super advanced and you want to have even more ability. So let's go back to the filters here and lo let me show you our tag filter. So if, I, if you are a tag user here, you can quickly type those in and combine different um, tags to search for. And boom, I'm finding my two notes. And I brought you a note here. This is actually a help and learning article, link below if you wanna take a look with our advanced search syntax. So this article has a whole bunch of um, syntax that you can just type in here um, to even be broader in your search than what the filters allow you, right? So you have, you can even filter down by latitude and longitude, like how cool is that? Um, so my favorite one actually is the in-title search, right? In-title, um, I type it in, that's the advanced search syntax. Um, and then have a semicolon, and then I enter my search keyword important, no space needed. Um, so what this one does, this modifier basically finds all nodes that have the keyword Evernote in the title. So as you can see, Evernote, Evernote, Evernote is everywhere in the title. Um, and can you and combine it with other operators as well? Like put more than one in title? Yeah, definitely you can. So I can basically say here, okay, I want in title Evernote and maybe search. Cool. And what you will find, this is almost like a tag search. It, um, it narrows it down. And then of course here, I can also use my filters again if I would like to. All right, Very so this useful. was our, right? This was our third pro tip. And now let's talk about our bonus, okay because bonus bonus, right? So here you can see, so once you enter your keyword and your search, um, you have the option here to save a search. All right, so let's call this search since that's what we are talking about. You can type this in and then let's show some magic here because uh, this is truly cool, I love it. You can add this to your shortcuts. I will show you in a second why this is super valuable. So click save search, it will basically save all those um, different modifiers you have entered for your search results and um, for you to quickly recall them. So click save. And then I have two options of accessing my saved search. So of course, again, here the search bar and you can see I have a ton of saved searches here um, and I can just quickly click on it to execute my search. But not only that, you can see I have my shortcut menu open here and um, I can add all different kinds of um, items into my shortcut menu, but also search so that I can click once and I can execute that search command. So with two clicks, you can find stuff that you're looking up on a daily basis without having to type in, without having to look for it, just like that, snappy, nice. Exactly, super fast. Right. So not only can I be finding any content in any kind of format that's saved in Evernote somewhere, but I can also quickly search and have different ways to make my search way more efficient. Thank you, Johanna. That was great. Articles related to everything you heard here today will be linked in the description box below. And if you haven't already, go to evernote.com slash download and get the latest and coolest Evernote. Yes. And um if there are any other topics you would like us to show in one of our Pro Tips YouTube videos, please send us an email at customersuccess at evernote.com. You can find it below as well. Um, if you're interested in Evernote business and you have questions, um, contact our sales team also below. Um, Subscribe and share this video and like it as well if you want to see more like this. And don't forget to stay productive. Thank you, everybody.